What's up you guys, it's Cody coming back at you with another video from the ADHD Projects channel garage which is uh, unfortunately my uh, small garage right now but we'll, we'll be upgrading to a bigger garage eventually. Uh, this video is all about kind of updating you guys on the 14 inch lift that's getting put on the 7.3. Uh, I got some pictures to show you guys. If you follow my Instagram you saw them but uh, here I can talk to you guys a little more about it, about what's going on, uh, plans for the future and stuff like that. Uh, so I could talk a little more about you know the lift itself and where we're at and stuff So that's what this video is gonna be about uh, Like I said, we're in the uh, ADHD projects channel garage. We got the American flag hanging up and uh, I got my my dirt bike in here uh, If you guys have been following you might have seen the the CR 250 showcased on the channel before uh, We got the uh, new 2008 to 2016 rear bumper to put on the truck once we get it back uh, if you guys missed my last video I sanded and painted this white it came black uh, so go check that out if you can see that video and then of course we have the uh, Harley 1993 hardtail sportster um, I don't showcase this too much I don't really do much to it uh, painted the back back fender I have a new headlight to put on it stuff like that but I don't really do any videos on that anyways let's get back into the update so as you guys can see from this picture right here, which I love this picture, um, the truck is pretty much on the lift as far as the leaf springs go. Really, we're just waiting on a couple of parts like the steering crossover uh, and the custom uh, drive shaft extension. Anything over eight inches requires these uh, custom parts. Like I said, the steering crossover and the drive, drive shaft extension. So uh, going with the 14 inches, obviously we need those things. We're waiting for those parts. Uh, the shock should be there by now. He should be either putting the shocks on or ready to put the shocks on. That's, that's easy, shouldn't take long at all. So I'm hoping to get the truck back according to them sometime next week, hopefully early in the week. As you can see here in this picture, the top of the bed sides is already about an inch above my head, okay? The bed is already taller than my head. Uh, I'm 5'9", maybe a little bit over 5'9". Uh, so you can see the truck is pretty dang tall. And as you can see here in this picture, it's still sitting on the 37 inch tires. Uh, we are gonna put 40s on it. Now, originally my plan was to order the 40 inch tires and 20 inch wheels about a day or two before the truck is done. And then that way when I get the truck back from the lift shop, I could drive straight over to the tire shop and get the 40s put on. Uh, but to be completely honest with you, I, I don't hate the look of the truck on the 14 inch lift with the 37 inch tires. Uh, these pictures here, the truck is the back, the rear end is not jacked up. The jacks are all the way down. It is sitting on the tires. That is the actual size uh, sitting on the tires and the lift and everything. So I don't hate the look of the truck on the 14 inch lift and the 37 inch tires. I kind of like the space that's between the tire and the fender, um, but not for long term, not to keep it like that, just for a couple days. So I can go get the 40 inch tires later, um, which is kind of nice. It just takes some stress off me of having to order the tires ahead of time and have the tire wheel shop hold them for me. Uh, I don't know how, what their policy is gonna be on that. I didn't really ask them. But yeah, the other thing I want to talk to you guys about is I am pretty set on getting 20 inch wheels to go with the 40 inch tires. I'm gonna go with the same Moto metal wheels that I have now, but I'm gonna go from 17s to 20s. Um, so like I said, I'm pretty set on that, but I kinda wanna ask you guys' opinion. Uh, I know some of you guys might like more tire and less wheel. Uh, some of you guys like the look of the 40 inch tires on 17 inch wheels. I kinda think it's a lot of tire. I think uh, going from a 17 to a 20, when you're going from a 37 inch tire to a 40 inch tire, it'll look about the same as my tires do now as far as uh, the proportion, uh, the ratio, tire to wheel ratio. Um, but of course, we'll be on bigger tires and bigger wheels. But comment down your opinion below if you guys think the 17s will actually look better on 40s. I'm curious to know. Maybe you guys will change my opinion on it. Um, let me know what you guys think about that. I am curious to know. Comment down below. Also, I'm probably going to have to build some type of custom ramp of some kind in order to get my dirt bike in there. I mean, I don't know how I'm going to be able to load my dirt bike into the, the truck anymore um, without some custom ramps of some kind or something. So we'll see what we come with that. Also, with this new lift, uh, I do want to get an off-roading video, um, you know, or even a couple, continuous, whatever. I want to get some off-roading done with the new truck and the new lift, uh, see how it performs. Uh, with the 14 inch lift to 40 inch tires. It's obviously a really big, really heavy truck. Uh, so, you know, hopefully we don't get stuck, but we'll see how that goes. I think it'll be fun. The other thing is the transmission was rebuilt right before I got the truck. Uh, I have the receipt for it and everything from the previous owner. The transmission probably has 
20,000, 30,000 miles on it. So it should be in pretty good shape. Uh, obviously with the bigger tires, um, we're gonna wanna help protect the transmission. So eventually we will do a re-gear. In the meantime, one of the first things I wanna do when I get the truck back is put a Mishimoto trans cooler on the 7.3. Uh, I know a lot of people upgrade to the 6.0 trans cooler, but I've seen tons of really good reviews on the Mishimoto trans cooler. It's $300-ish, brand new. And rather than putting a used 6.0 trans cooler, I'd rather just put a, re a brand new, good Mishimoto trans cooler on it. Uh, so that's one thing we're gonna do uh, to help spread the transmission, lower the uh, uh, trans, uh, trans oil temps and stuff like that. So uh, we can look forward to that. And also you guys, like I said before, the goal is to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of my second year making YouTube videos. Um, we just ended the first year, I hit 3,000 subscribers. So by the end of the second year, I wanna hit 10,000 subscribers. Now, in the meantime, you guys, if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. When I get to 5,000 subscribers, um, I, I wanna put, I want to put a turbo upgrade on my truck. Coming with the turbo upgrade would also be uh, exhaust back pressure valve delete and probably riffraff bellowed up pipes, okay? Which those are expensive too. Those are like a third of the price of a, a KC 300X turbo. So, um, but yeah, if we get to 5,000 subscribers, uh, that's my goal is to do the turbo upgrade. So hit that subscribe button so you can see the turbo upgrade. Uh, we'll put a new KC 300X in there. Um, probably paint the intercooler pipes while we're at it. Uh, maybe paint the turbo, stuff like that. So yeah, if you want to see that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I think that's pretty much it. I think that's everything I could think of for this video. Just giving you guys a little update. Like I said, hopefully a few days after you watch this, we get the truck back and I uh, can't wait to show you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, hit the like button if you did, leave a comment down below and I'll catch you guys on the next video.